Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ranu Pesal from JJ Medical College. My paper is Assessment of Mediastinal Muscles Using Computed Tomography. Anatomy of the Mediastinum. Mediastinum is the extrapleural space within the thorax between the two lungs. It extends from the sternum anteriorly to the vertebral column posterior. The upper limit is formed by the thoracic inlet and the lower limit by the F. Mediastinum is uh, divided anatomically into superior and inferior mediastinum by the Ludwig's plane. Inferior mediastinum is uh, further divided into anterior, middle and posterior mediastinum with respect to the pericardium. Anterior mediastinum lies anterior to the pericardium. Middle mediastinum consists of the pericardium and posterior uh, mediastinum is posterior to the pericardium. Felsen divided the mediastinum into anterior, middle and posterior mediastinum with respect to two lines. One line is uh, drawn along the anterior aspect of the trachea and posterior margins of the art. Another line is a vertical line drawn along the th thoracic vertebra one centimeter behind their anterior margins. Normal mediastinal contents. Anterior uh, compartment consists of thymus gland, substernal extension of thyroid and parathyroid glands, lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes, and connective tissue. Middle compartment consists of art, pericardium, aortic arch and great vessels, innominate veins and uh, superior vena cava, trachea and main bronchi, hyla, lymph nodes, phrenic and upper vagus nodes and connective tissue. Posterior compartment consists of esophagus, descending aorta, azygous and emiazygous vein, thoracic duct, lymph nodes, vagus nerves, sympathetic chain and connective tissue. Indication for the MDCT evaluation of the medias. To define and characterize a mediastinum, uh, abnormality suspected or diagnosed on plain radiograph. To evaluate the mediastinum in patients who have normal chest radiograph at a clinical reason to suspect mediastinal disease. Re in radiation treatment planning and follow up to aid biopsy or drainage procedure. Aims and objectives uh, to evaluate MDCT characteristics of mediastinal muscles on plane and contrast in end scans. Locate differentiate and diagnose mediastinal muscles to study the involvement of neighboring structures by mediastinal muscles. Materials and methods. The main source of data for the study are uh, patients from August 2020 to August 2021 of Bapuji Hospital and uh, Chikteri General Hospital, Dharmagiri. Uh, referred patients were evaluated through detailed history, necessary physical examination and computer tomography is carried out using GE Revolution MDCT machine. Inclusion criteria. Computed tomography study of the mediastinum was conducted in clinically suspected cases of mediastinal muscles. Patients were, were the chest uh, radiograph showed the evidence of mediastinal mass lesion. Exclusion criteria was vascular causes including aorta and cardia. Traumatic cases, various types of hernias. Results. In this study, out of total 26 patients, 14 were male and 12 were female. The majority of cases were in the age group between 50 and 75 years. Among these uh, cases, anterior mediastinal muscles were 27%, middle mediastinal muscles were 19%, and posterior mediastinal muscles were 54%. Out of 26 patients, 9 patients were diagnosed with mediastinal lymph nodal mass, 6 patients with uh, CA distal esophagus, 3 patients with lymphoma, two patients with extending thyroid lesion. One patient each with neurointricist, esophageal duplication cyst, paraesophageal abscess, soft tissue lesion in the left pleural space, malignant lesion in the posterior middle aspect of left thorax, and thymoma. These are the uh, axial and coronal uh, CT images where uh, there is a anterior mediastinal mass with the widening of the mediastinum. There is no significant uh, compression or in invading of the mediastinal structure. There is associated uh, bilateral pleural effusion and uh, underlying uh, lung collapse. This is another uh, case uh, where there is uh, uh, mediastinal mass noted encasing the mediastinal structures without any compression or obstructive features. These were diagnosed to be cases of lymphoma. Is the axial, sagittal, and coronal image uh, showing a cystic uh, lesion in the left lateral aspect of the lower thoracic vertebra? Uh, this was uh, diagnosed uh, to be a neuroentric cyst. This is the axial CT image of a patient 
showing a metastatic uh, lymph nodal mass invading the esophagus and uh, same patient uh, showed uh, multiple lytic lesions in the vertebra and uh, multiple liver meds there was associated uh, thromboembolism and pulmonary infarct this is the axial uh, ct image showing a circumferential uh, thickening of the esophagus at the level of the carina which was diagnosed to be a ca esophagus other patient uh, showing a thickening of the esophageal wall in the lower uh, esophagus which was uh, diagnosed to be ca esophagus this is the sagittal image of the patient of uh, para uh, esophageal abscess in our study of 26 cases cough was the most common clinical symptom constituting 44% uh, followed by dyspnea 36% fever 20% and chest pain 20% according to davis et al study a study in 400 consecutive patients with mediastinal masses chest pain constituted the most common symptom that is 30% followed by fever 20% compartmental distribution of mediastinal masses among these masses anterior mediastinal masses were 27% that is 7 cases middle mediastinal masses were 19% that is 5 cases and posterior mediastinal masses were 54% that is 14 cases out of 26 patients nine patients were diagnosed with mediastinal lymph nodal mass six patient with uh, ca distal esophagus three patients with mediastinal lymphoma one patient each with neuroenteric cyst esophageal duplication cyst and paraesophageal abscess conclusion multidirector row computed tomography plays a significant role in the assessment of various mediastinal uh, pathology which were initially detected on the chest radiogram the maximum number of cases occurred in the fifth and seventh decade and uh, slightly more common in males in our study of 26 cases of mediastinal masses the posterior mediastinal masses consists of 50% anterior mediastinum is of 30% and the middle mediastinum consists of 19% out of 26 patients nine patients were diagnosed with mediastinal lymph nodal mass six patients with the ca distal one third of esophagus three patients with mediastinal lymphoma mtct is a promising 3d imaging tool which allows substantial anatomical volumes to be routinely covered with isotopic sub millimeter spatial resolution highly useful for the investigations of mediastinal masses so we conclude that multi detector row computed tomography def definitely has a major role to play in the evaluation of mediastinal mass lesions these are my references thank you